Sometimes it's useful to create folders of pages inside of Notion. And for that, we can create tabs inside of Flotion. We'll do so in five steps. First, we're going to create the tabs from the layouts menu. Next, we're going to drag the tabs into the correct page and turn them into text. Then we will generate the pages that we need from the new page template button. Then we'll drag those pages into the tabs section where we need them. And finally, we will link up those tabs to the relevant pages that we've just created. So step number one will be to locate the tabs themselves inside of the layout dropdown button. If I go and I hit tabs, it's going to create a new page and take me there. I just need to hit back or head back to our client portal page and find the tab or the page that we wanted to create those tabs on. No matter which page I go to, by the way, this tabs that we've just created will appear. So we can always locate it in the menu if we create a new layout, but we first need to navigate to the page that we want the tabs to appear on. We're gonna drag and drop these tabs to the top of the page where we need them. And as the instruction says, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna turn it into text. The final step is to select all of this backspace and backspace one more time. By default, we'll have four items set up ready for us and we'll have a toggle, an empty toggle menu where our tab pages are going to go. Now let's say for this particular tab example, we wanted to create one item, which was our home. Next, we wanted to create a tab, which was meetings. Then we wanted to have a tab, which was contacts. And finally, we wanted to have a final tab, which was maybe an archive. Here we have four tabs, which we need to create a, we need to create pages for. Now we could create this home page as the page that we're on. And that means we only need to really create three new pages. So I'm going to do that rapidly with the new page button by hitting it three times. One, two, three. Now we have three pages. We can name them accordingly. So meetings, was one of them. Another was, let's remind ourselves from this page here, and we can also rename them from this view so we can see what we're doing. So we have a meetings page. We're gonna rename this to be a contacts page. And then we had another one, which was an archive page. It doesn't really matter where we do the naming and renaming because we're actually going to drag all of these pages into this tabs toggle list here. I can do them one by one as such, or I can select one and then shift and down select all three at once and drag them all into this tabs here. Now they haven't disappeared. All I need to do is open up this tab toggle menu and I'll see the pages that I wanted. Now I can reorder these just so that they are the same if I am pedantic like that, which I am. And the last step is simply to copy the link to this page like so, select the relevant tab link or the tab text that we want and paste the link accordingly. For the remaining two, I'm going to use the keyboard. I'm gonna copy the link and then I'm gonna hit Control V to paste it in place. One more time for the archive and I'm going to paste it so that I have a link. You can already see, you can check that the link is working by hovering over and see that it's linking to the correct page. What about this home page? Well, that's the page that we're on right now. So I can get the link for this page from this copy link button here, but I can also get it from our side menu. So the page is create, creating tabs. I can get the link just as I've done with the other pages and I can copy paste it in here. So now if I wanna move across to the meetings page, I can do so. This is now we have two meetings pages, which is not so helpful, but I can do so from this menu here. If I would like these tabs to appear on each of those pages, which I think I would, I can either copy and paste this like so by heading over to this meetings page and adding it and heading over to the contacts and doing the same. But I can also create a synced version of these tabs. Just as we've done when setting up this first menu, we can create a synced block from our tabs menu. I'm going to do so by selecting the block turning it into a sync block, copy and sync or control C, 
head over to this meetings page. We don't need that copy, which we just made. And it's as simple as clicking across and copying the tabs at the top of the page. Now, whenever I click through, I have a quick way of navigating inside of these four pages for this tab setup. Also, if I wanted to create a new page inside of this home section, which we've called creating tabs unhelpfully, I can do so from any of these pages and it'll appear in our synced block menu. So let's say I wanted to have another one, which was called keywords. I could do so from any page. I would have a new tab there and I would just need to create a new page. I would need to navigate back to our creating tabs, add it into this toggle list so that they're all in the same place, rename it to be keywords, copy the link and add it to this page here. So now we have a keywords page and we could do something like add a keywords table to it, generate this component, drag it in here. We're going to need another copy of that synced block menu. So I'm going to copy this, head over to that keywords page and copy it one more time. So now I know I'm still within this kind of tab view of these pages. We had an archive, so we want an archive to go here. Let's get a master archive and drag it into our archive page. Let's take a look at this contacts page, create a contacts list or a table. Drag it in here. Meetings will do the same thing. We'll create a quick meetings uh, calendar. Drag it in. And our home page, we could have just some text overview of creating tabs. Step one, step two, etc. So now I have a page called creating tabs in my side menu, which I can access from anywhere, which is helpful. And if I wanted to look at the sub pages inside of that creating tabs group, I can just click across this top tab. I have my meetings, contacts, archive and keywords. And that's a short introduction to how you can create tabs inside of Flotion.